Hey guys, we're gonna go over Tuesday. No, wrong one. All right, there we go. Let's back up a little bit. Um, last Friday's homework on May 1st, we went over our I can statement of compare and evaluate expressions with parentheses. Remember, every time you see a parenthesis, you do that first and then you move on to the rest of the expression. Number one says to write expressions to match the diagrams, then evaluate. So if the diagram says 17 plus 4, go ahead and add 17 plus 4 and get 21. Then you divide 21 by 4. So each little piece will equal 5 and 1 fourth. Let's try this one. If that little section is 4 sevenths plus 8 thirds, you're going to multiply that times 2 because there are two pieces. When you multiply that times 2, you'll get 12 21st plus 56 21st times 2. They already found the least common denominator. After you do that, you'll do 61, or sorry, 68 over 21 times 2, and that will get you to 136 divided by 21. So once you do that long division, you'll have 6 and 10 21sts. Number two, circle the expression or expressions that give the same product as 6 times 3 eighths. And how do you know? 6 times 3 eighths is the same thing as t uh, taking 3 divided by 8 and multiplying it by 6. That's pretty much the same equation. 6 times 3 in parentheses divided by 8 is the associative property, so that is also the same. And finally, 3 times 8 divided by 6 is the commutative property, meaning you can multiply in any order and the answer is still the same. Letter C. Sorry, number 3. Write an expression to match and then evaluate. So for A, you have 1 eighth the sum of 23 and 17. So first you want to find the sum, which is addition, of 23 plus 17. Then you're going to multiply that times 1 eighth. So 1 eighth times 40 or 40 over 8 equals 5. Letter B, subtract 4 from 1 sixth of 42. If you're doing 1 sixth of 42, you're doing 1 sixth times 42. Put that in parentheses and then subtract 4 from that. So 42 over 6 is 7, and 7 minus 4 is 3. Letter C, 7 times as much as the sum of 1 third and 4 fifths. So first you want to add, find the sum of 1 third and 4 fifths. You can go ahead and um, find the least common denominator, which is 15, and that will take you to 7 times 17 fifteenths, or 7 times 1 and 2 fifteenths. That will get you to your total of 7 and 14 fifteenths. Letter D, 2 thirds of the product of 3 eighths and 16. So you want to find the product, which is multiplication of 3 eighths times 16, which basically gets you to uh, 48 over 8. And you're going to multiply that times two-thirds. What is two-thirds times six? It is four. And letter E. Seven copies of the sum, eight-fifths, and four. Eight-fifths and four is just eight-fifths plus four. And then copies of is multiplication. So you're going to need to find what is eight-fifths. It's one and three-fifths plus four. You're going to add those together first because they're in the parentheses. You'll have a total of 5 and 3 fifths times 7, which gets you to 20, sorry, 35 plus 21 fifths. If you add together that improper fraction changed to a mixed number, you'll get 35 plus 4 and 1 fifth, which gets you to your final answer of 39 and 1 fifths. F, 15 times as much as 1 fifth of 12. What is 1 fifth of 12? One-fifth of 12. We're going to actually regroup the 15 times one-fifth and then multiply that by 12 because it makes it a little bit easier because 15 times one-fifth is 3 and 3 times 12 is 36. So this was from last Friday. If you want to check your answers, this one was a little tricky. Um, don't worry if you're not catching on as quickly as you can. You remember, we're not at school, and this is a learning process and a curve for everybody. So just stay calm and try your best. Have a great day.